I'm really happy about this. The thing is, this isn't a surprise because we've been doing clinics now for you know a couple of months, and you know we've been able to put out more than a thousand doses a day. So I had total confidence that there wouldn't be any issue in setting up a clinic here. We just wanted a place that was big enough to expand to a mass vaccination site, which will happen next week. So we got the right place. This is going to be easy for us to handle. Um, we've been, you know, we've put out 10,000 doses a week. We don't. We could have done twice as much. So for us, our problem was never sites and logistics. It was always doses. If I'd had twice as many doses, we would have gotten them out. Um, but it's, you know, that's, there, nobody had the doses. I can't blame the state because they, you know, the federal supply wasn't there. I think this is going to go a long way to moving things you know, forward for us. And I guess in general, just asking people to be patient because we're, what are we, uh, probably two months away from getting most county residents vaccinated. Um, and I mean, you know, a really large portion of our population. Things should be more normal then, until then. Um, don't put yourself at risk. More people live in Montgomery County than in Wyoming, Vermont, North Dakota, and even DC. We are a big county with a lot of stories. Subscribe to our channel and don't miss any of the important news happening in our community.